back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma hold the phone amanda nunez wants to fight the winner of ufc 219's featherweight title fight between chris cyborg and holly Holm. are you kidding me yo i didn't expect this let me let me fucking tell you why this is so big to me because when you're talking about the pound-for-pound pound number one female fighter on the planet, I had Valentina Shevchenko, although I felt like Amanda Nunes was going to beat Valentina at 135. The reason I gave give Valentina the nod is because we know Valentina Shevchenko was super successful at 125 pounds in Muay Thai, and we also know she's about to transition to 125 pounds in the UFC and MMA when she takes on Priscilla Cachoeira in Belém, Brazil. So... Valentina Shevchenko is a woman who could can be the queen of 125 pounds and the number one contender of the Bantamweight division. There's not a Bantamweight on the planet that's beaten Valentina Shevchenko, not named Amanda Nunes. But now let's 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 take Amanda Nunes now. The only reason I had Valentina there is because now Amanda Nunes talking about going up to 145 pounds. Yo, if she's a top contender at 145 pounds. You got to give her the pound for pound number one spot. Why? Because that was that was Valentina's argument. You're a top contender at 135 and you can be the queen at 125. Well, she'll be the queen of 135 and a top contender at 145. And she's got the W over Valentina, two of them. So that if Amanda Nunes does go up and contend for the featherweight title after this, I believe not only will it be a super fight, not only does she got a good chance of winning, because Amanda Noonan is, is a fucking dog. Say what you want about her. She gets a lot of fucking hate. I don't even know why. I really don't. People say it's because she pulled out of that fight with the sinusitis or whatever. Is that it? Is that where all the hate comes from or what? I mean, uh, I'm a fan of Amanda Nunes, and I think she's a dominant champion. Uh, maybe it's come with some of the Tyron Woodley stuff. I guess whenever she says something, people take it as a complaint. It is what it is. Hey, I don't know why everyone else hates her, but I know I don't. I'm a fan of Amanda Nunes, and if she does go up and challenge for this 145-pound title, yo, I think, it, it, let's say Holly Holm pulls off the upset. The giant killer kills the giant Chris Cyborg, and Amanda Nunes goes up to fight Holly Holm. That, you're going to tell me you don't think Amanda Nunes can win that fight? I think she'd be the favorite. And, and Holly Holm, it would be a dope-ass fight. She might not be the favorite, yo. Amanda Nunes versus Holly Holm. Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg. Now, Chris Cyborg has said she doesn't want to fight Amanda Nunes. She said, yo, but if she wants to come up and fight for the title, of course we can fight. So with that being said, there's a very real possibility. Um, this is what Amanda Nunes and his team had to say. They said, we have the um, utmost respect for Chris Cyborg and Holly Holm. It'd be a great fight with either one, uh, said American top team coach Silviera. But we believe Amanda could be the champion in both divisions because she still has all the tools for that. She's an extremely well-rounded fighter and has been showing that she does deserve to face the winner. That's our main focus in 2018. It makes a lot of sense because as far as the Bantamweight, can, the Bantamweight division is concerned, there's not a lot of contenders there. Um, Amanda Nunes was going to be fighting Raquel Pennington, I believe, maybe at UFC 219. But Raquel Pennington got in like a car crash, broke her leg or something. She got a leg injury. So that fight never even got announced. It was like on the cusp of being announced, Raquel Pennington versus Amanda Nunes. But boom, injury didn't happen. So now Amanda Nunes, the Bantamweight champion, that's a, that's a person that could, you know, we haven't, as far as needing an extra title fight for 219, I'm surprised they didn't just throw somebody, you know, throw somebody to Amanda Nunes. Give somebody an opportunity to fight for the title just to have another belt on the line. Unless Amanda Nunes is injured, let's let you, what we've had, Kevin Lee, I know a lot of people say, how did he fight for the title of rank seven? If there's no number one, number two, number three contender available, just throw somebody, you know, get this title fight off. I don't really understand why Amanda Nunes is not fighting anybody other than Raquel Pennington, but that go just goes to bolster her case for why she should be fighting for one, the 145 pound title. Hey, we can't get a fight at 135. There's no contenders that aren't injured or that want to fight. So, I'm about to go on, and that's a hell of a challenge, bro. She's going to take on Chris Cyborg. Now, this is what I got to say before we get out of here. If Chris Cyborg wins, I hope she keeps this same energy. Because if Holly Holm wins, I definitely see Amanda Nunes moving up and taking the fight. Chris Cyborg is another monster. It usually takes a little extra push to get someone in the cage with Chris Cyborg. So, if Amanda Nunes is fighting, just say, you know what, fuck it. I'm fighting the winner. 
I hope she keeps the same energy no matter who the winner is. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what the fuck you tell me in the comments. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da! It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G!